marvelous, amen, in my sight, amen, what God, amen, is doing in this hour, amen, God is doing some miraculous, miraculous, amen, things in this hour, and I just thank God, amen, Recording in for progress. our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, amen, before we begin, amen, I want to go in prayer, Father, I just thank you for this time and this moment, God, I thank you for this day, this hour, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, God, I also thank you for the opportunity, God, Lord, to look upon somebody like me, amen, using, amen, this voice to speak unto your people, oh God, oh Father, I'm not worthy of anything, but God, I thank Thank you for your mercy, for your grace, for your love. Amen. For choosing me who is a nobody, but became a somebody through you. Amen. To speak to your people. And God, I pray that every leader, every eye, every heart, God, that they perceiveth this seed and that this seed fall upon good ground and get rooted and grounded, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. And God, I will forever continue to lift up every leader leader, every, all of my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, God, that we come together as one in Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen, amen, glory to God, amen, I want you to just, amen, grab, amen, a neighbor or a friend, amen, and just let them come on in and just, amen, tune in, amen, and see what God is saying to us on today. Amen. Um, I said on last week that, amen, we're going to be talking about revelation and I'm, I'm going to, amen, by the grace of God, amen, hold my composure unless the Holy Ghost, amen, says otherwise, I can't help it. I'm sorry. Amen. But I just thank God also for each of you. And I, I won't, I don't want it to be robbery. Amen. I want to thank God for every single leader out there. Amen. I know some of you by name and some of you I don't know by name, but I thank God for you. I thank God for your stand of holiness and righteousness. I thank God that you have not lowered. Amen. Your standards. Amen. In God. Amen. I, I just want to thank God and I want to, amen, give you some encouraging words. Amen. Payday is coming at the while because God has given me to say that the day of the Lord is at hand. Amen. We're getting ready to see, amen, a great move of God. Amen. And I'm talking about for the body of Christ. Amen. Glory to God. And I want to thank God. Amen. Even for our leaders. Amen. All of them that are overseas into other countries. Amen. And I know that there is a famine. Amen. That is over there. Amen. In our countries where there's lacking of food, there's lacking, amen, of clothes. There's even lacking Amen. When you have, amen, a husband and a wife, amen, that have took on the responsibility of other children that is not physically there, amen, whom their parents have died, amen, and they have taken upon themselves, amen, to try the best that they can, amen, to feed these children, to make sure they have food, to make sure they have Bibles, to make sure, amen, that they have Sunday school books, because we must remember, amen, what the Bible does declare, suffer little children, and forbid them not to come unto me. Now, I'm finna talk to somebody right now. Those of you that sit up and you see and you know that there is a need, listen, and you set it up and you won't send, you won't send five dollars, you won't send a dollar, Amen. You'll look at that and, and act like that. It means nothing to you. But God, I'm going to say it again. He says, suffer little children and forbid them not to come unto him. You are forbidding children when you don't get up off your badunkey and go ahead and plant. Amen. Plant in there the word of God by sending a financial blessing to those leaders over there. Amen. Glory to God. Listen, America, we have the advantage. We we could get a Sunday school book. We could get a Bible. All you got to do is go into a motel and you will find a Bible. Listen, it's some doctor's office that you could go into. Amen. You could see a Bible sitting up in there, but they do not have the advantage that we have here. So we must be a blessing. Amen. 
We are here. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me stop right there. Now, glory to God, and I just thank God, amen, for our Lord and our Savior. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and say this. Now, God has blessed some of us. Why? Because there is a time and a season that is under the sun. Glory to God. Somebody say that there is a time and a season under the sun. Go ahead and text somebody, amen, and let them know that there is a time and a season under the sun. Amen. Now, listen. Listen to this. And if those there's some out there, I believe I have, amen, um, the link open here on zoom amen um if you would like to come in and join feel free i'll accept you amen as you come in amen if you have a testimony listen out this is a day every day we should testify to what God has done. God has been good to us. Amen. Many of us, amen, we were stuck in the muck and mirror clay. I know that I was. Amen. At, listen, before God, amen, I accepted the Lord for number one, I had to get tired of being tired, but I was out there a uh, alcoholic or drug addict or dope addict, amen, or whatever you call it, a wine bibbler, a wine marker, amen, or a Coke 45 drinker, a slit smoke liquor bull, high gravity drinker, amen, a Hennessy drinker, a Seagram's gin drinker, a Paul the Sun drinker, a Corona drinker, look, whatever it was out there that pertained to alcohol, Hall, I drunk it. Amen. If I couldn't get none, it would NyQuil will work as well. Now listen, and 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 God, Amen, has done a lot for me. Amen. I have saw death. I I have walked right in the middle of death, and not not just one time, Amen, but more than one time. And there's many things that God has done for many of you out there. But most of us, we have forgotten, Amen, where God has brought us from, and we have picked up a spirit, whether we know it or not, which is a spirit of selfishness, a spirit spirit of pride like we have overcame some of them things but listen if you're not careful some of them same, same spirits that was in you is lurking back on the inside and God is gradually amen going out because of number one pride lifted up amen listen that our spirit that my spirit amen have came in and gotten in the way now listen I'm gonna say this now, the time and the season here, glory to God, there's a time to die, there's a time to be born, there's a time to reap, and there's a time for it to leave away from us. In other words, what I'm saying today is that there's a time Amen. That we will, God will look upon us and most, and we will get blessed financially. Now, many of you out there right now today, we have picked up a spirit of selfishness. Okay. Now that selfishness spirit means you don't want to help nobody. You don't want to do nothing for nobody unless it benefit you. If it's not benefiting you, then you're not doing nothing for nobody. But you will go, uh, most of y'all, amen, you will go and you'll spend three and four and five hundred dollars on Malaysian hair, amen, and, and pretty yourself up and dating yourself up, amen, tattoos all over your body, amen, and earrings everywhere, amen, all in your tongue and everywhere, all over your belly, amen, uh, dressing, amen, looking like a harlot, amen, a wannabe, amen, listen, amen, rather than giving to those that are in need. Listen, when we give, good measures will come to us, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, that men will give into your bosom. 
Now, I ain't telling no female, amen, to show your breast for men to look at it, amen, and you're going to get some money looking at your breast. I'm not talking about that, amen. I have to make it plain because somebody just don't understand. Somebody feel like if they show their breasts and all their cleavage and all of that thing that, that, that some man, amen, going to go ahead and give them money. But let me tell you something. Let me not go there. Glory to God. Listen, listen. What God is saying in this hour, he placed us here for one reason, for one purpose, ordained one thing, for us to minister the gospel, walk in love, and to help one another. This is why we are here God did not tell us to become a denomination and separate ourselves from each other because of a denomination. And we all is supposed to be professing Jesus Christ, amen, our Lord and our Savior. Now, somebody got to go ahead and get this thing right. Now, listen, I can't help it. I have to preach it. I have to tell it like it I as is because there's no other way. Listen, glory to God. Leaders, leaders, leaders who ain't right, leaders who sitting up in the pulpit like they're a sugar daddy, leaders that sitting up there like they a pimp in the pulpit, leaders that sitting up like they the Pope, leaders that sitting up there, amen, like they the President of the United States, leaders that sitting up like they some king over a throne or somewhere, amen, this is who I'm talking to right now, amen, most of leaders have lowered their standards in God and became a limp wimp. Amen. Into the gospel. Don't have no backbone or no foot to even walk on. Why? Because they're eating jelly beans and they haven't came. Amen. A jellyfish. Amen. Anything could come in. Amen. And run over you. Glory to God. There's no backbone anymore. A true leader stands for the gospel, whether you got one to a hundred people in there. And it don't matter if the 99 is there and the one leave, you still is supposed to go out for that one. Amen. Not have a have a say, oh, well, oh, I don't care about that one. They can go on because you feel like you got just that 99 and that 99. Amen. Going to be strong. You and that 99 going to hell. Glory to God. Listen. Listen, God, and we getting into revelation. We're going to get into it. Listen, God placed us here to be helpers one to another. Not just, oh, I'm praying for your sister and I'm, I'm doing this here, brother, and I'm doing this here. Don't pray for me if you know I don't have no meat in my house. If you know I ain't got a loaf of bread, amen, don't pray for me. Go in your pocket and be a blessing, amen. This is why we are here one for another, but we can't see that. Why? Because we do not have a prayer life. We don't have a life of supplication. We don't have a life of intercessory. We don't have a life, amen, of standing in the Cap. Amen. We don't have a life. Amen. Of being on our knees and staying. Amen. Before God in prayer. We don't have. Amen. A life. Amen. To meditate on the Lord. We don't have a lifestyle anymore. Amen. To being of good courage. Amen. And giving. Amen. Giving out of your need. Amen. To be a blessing to somebody else. And you'll give it with love. Amen. You won't give it because you made to give it. You'll give it. Amen. From your heart. Because because there's something, amen, that's inside of you, which is the love of God that you will give because, amen, it's in your heart because you got Jesus, amen, on the inside of your heart. Glory to God. Listen. Listen. It is so many people saying, Lord, I love you, going straight to hell, playing, putting on a pretense putting on a formality and basically you just a Pharisee and a Sadducee you have a form 
of godliness, but inside you ain't thinking about loving God. You ain't thinking about, amen, loving his people. Amen. You ain't thinking about getting out there, amen, as a whole, amen, to get out there and feed the hungry and clothe the naked. Amen. We we taking all this money, amen, and we hollering about building funds and building this hill, and we want a cathedral ceiling, amen. We want a bigger church so we need bigger land. No, what you need to be doing, amen, is thinking about a mission, amen, and get some missionary together, amen, and how we gonna feed these people, amen, giving them the gospel at the same time, amen, letting them know that God loved them, amen, finding a place for them, amen, to lay their heads down, amen, and showing the love of God, amen, somebody somewhere, amen, getting together, getting together with them, glory to God, and praise the name of the Lord God. Glory to God. Listen. It's time. For us to stop faking. And get things right with God. Getting right. Lord thank you Jesus. Listen. The day of the Lord. Is at hand. Now. I'm not saying that God is not going to bless and of course he is. God will give us the desires of our heart within his will according to his righteousness. Amen. But he does not want us to put our cares on this earth because we're not going to be here. Look, listen, listen, I want each, everybody, everybody, those that's listening now and those that's going to listen later. Listen, I want you to do this. I want you to think about this. Don't you know some people that have left here already? People, people are leaving here. Amen. On a surprisingly note. Wow. Wow. He gone, she gone, amen. As to let us know that we are not here forever. We're not supposed to lay our treasures on earth where moth and rust corrupt, but lay our treasure in heaven. That means do good, doing good while you're here, living holy while you're here, living pure while you're here, loving God while you're here, loving thy neighbor while you're here, preaching the unadulterated gospel while you are here, getting out in the street while you're here, letting somebody know that Jesus loved them while you are here, going out to where the drunkards hang out and let them know that Jesus love them and so do you and look at them with a smile on your face and say come and follow me and bring them in into the house of God give them the word give them some natural food give them some clothes to put on their back and give them a place amen to lay their head and a point Amen, some brothers or sisters that'll be over their soul and help that soul become a disciple. See, our job is to snatch souls out of the fire. It's not our job to put souls in the fire. Glory to God, somebody. I told you I can't help it, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Lord, I can't help it because it is God speaking. It is time to get right. The day of the Lord is at hand. Glory to God. Listen. Hallelujah. Now. What is being said. And it's in the book. Some of y'all might be saying. Well. Who wrote the Bible? I don't care who wrote it. It's teaching me how to live holy. It's teaching me how to live right. It's teaching me how to be humble and meek and lowly. It's teaching me how to take foul things, amen, that was in me out. It's teaching me how to pray. 
more. It's teaching me how to fast. It's teaching me how to consecrate. To love God and to love my neighbor. What's wrong with that? Glory to God. Glory. Listen. Listen. Now, God began to show me this. I began to read in Revelation, the sixth chapter, verses 9 through 11. Basically, is talking about the fifth seal. Okay? Now, there is some seals in the book of Revelation. I mean, I'm kind of going over, but God has placed in my spirit to go back and we're going to start from the beginning after tonight. So tonight, amen, we're getting this and then we're going to, amen, go forward to, to the beginning and we will come upon an understanding. Now, there is a fifth seal that is open. And what John saw under the altar were the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for their testimony, which they held. Now, see, we are not there yet. Now, physically, we're not being slain for the word of God, but we're being slain spiritually, amen, by Satan. And the demons that is with him. This is why the gates of hell have came in your house. That's why the husband is not acting right. The wife is not acting right. The children is not acting right. Circumstances done hit. Obstacles done hit. Situations have hit. The children, amen, have risen up in a different direction, amen, against you. Why? Because you're being persecuted for the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Somebody go understand this today. Amen. And I'm not talking to you, but I'm talking to who, amen, I am talking to. Listen, this word is for you on tonight. Glory to God. Listen, listen. Now, we must understand that our warfare is not this. It is not flesh and blood. Flesh and blood is already killing each other out there because they're following after their God with a little G. Satan. Satan keeps violence. Argue, arguments, division, confusion, misunderstanding, all of these type of things, amen, that Satan brings and have about and abroad already now in existence right now. This is why we must learn right now at this point and at this moment right now we must learn to understand what we are fighting against. The Bible declares that Satan began to answer God and tell him he is going to and fro in the earth seeking whom he may devour. And listen, he don't, I was telling somebody today, he don't care how you shout. He don't care how you read the word. He don't care how you preach. He don't care how you sing. He don't care how you cut a roll. He don't care how many times you go to church. He don't care how much money you put in. As long as he can get you not to live right. Glory to God. And walk in the ways of God. Listen. Now. As John began to see this and some of you all right now you're totally being slain and I'm saying it again because somebody is truly being slain out there by the adversary until a point you about to give up amen you're crying and you're trying to ask God Lord what's going on what, what's going on amen stand up and be that soldier amen you a child of the king you a child of the most high God amen you part of Alpha and Omega you part of the beginning and the end you part of the first and the last amen you are part amen of the lion out of the tribe of Judah you are part of wonderful you are part 
part of that bright and morning star. You're part of the star, David. Amen. You're part, amen, of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Amen. You're part of the beginning and the ending. Glory to God. This is why you are going through. Because you're part of wonderful. You're part of I am that I am and that I am I am. You're part of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. You're part of the lamb of God. Glory to God. This is why you're being attacked. And most of you does not even have a prayer life. So soon as, amen, the enemy coming against you like a flood, you don't forget that God said, I lift up a standard against the enemy. I will because I'm God. I got your back. I, I got your corner, dog. I got you. Glory to God. Don't you worry. Just come to me. Bring your burdens to me and I promise you I'll make them light. Take my yoke for it is easy. Glory to God. Somebody need to say hallelujah because you do not have to, amen, fight a battle. Glory to God. You don't have to fight a battle because the battle is not yours. The battle belongs to God. Glory to God. Now listen. Our brothers and sisters, I'm, I'm not, and I'm not going to say them because they are our brothers and sisters. And if you are saying, listen, you going to get persecuted too. Glory to God. Listen. Now, in verse 18, it reads, And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, you're holy and you're true? Dost thou not judge and avenge our blood? God, are you going to avenge our blood on them that dwell on earth? Are you going to avenge our blood? Now, this is our brothers and sisters. These are the ones that had their head cut off. They was martyred. These are the ones that died for their faith when they was facing opposition. Are you going to continue to profess this Jesus or are you going to come and be a part of Babylon? Now some of, some of y'all done already left God and you're part of Babylon already because you act like it, you dress like it, amen, you still listening to Snoop Doggy Dog, amen, you listening to all that Beyonce music and you talking about it ain't nothing wrong, amen, we're listening to the other side of music, yes it is, it is not holy, it is not godly, glory to God, those that die for the word. For the testimony which they held. Are we holding out? Somebody need to get up right now and say I'm holding out. Call somebody. Text them, tweet them, Instagram them, or whatever, twat, whatever you got to do. And let them know right now that I'm holding my testimony. Glory to God. Listen. They were moderate. Peter was crucified head down. James was beheaded at Jerusalem. You got some that was thrown to death, stoned, I'm sorry, stoned to death. James, who was thrown from a tower, glory to God, Jesus. And some was sawed in pieces. Some. Glory to God. Had arrows just put in them. And then beheaded. Glory to God. Listen. They are holding up the gospel. Holding their faith. 
You're not holding your faith because you go to church and say, amen, speaking a tall, amen, that he tie my bow tie. Amen. You're not holding your salvation, amen, because you going in and you crying, amen, all in the church and slobbing everywhere where somebody got to go rent a carpet cleaner, amen, and clean up all that mess, amen, that you done did and you walk out the church the same way, amen, that you came in. So, so, come on, somebody. Glory to God. Listen. There's coming a time. Amen. We, we are part of a tribulation right now. We're not really in tribulation, but we are in a form of tribulation right now. Some can't see it because they think somebody out there think that God is dead or God ain't paying no attention or he on a cigarette break. Amen. Or somewhere else. Amen. Somebody think that God just forgot. But listen. If you are left here when the rapture take place, you are going to have to take a stand for God or the devil because the pudding is really going to come out right then. Amen. We're going to see then. I ain't going to see, but you're going to see then. Amen. What 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 a proof in the pudding? How they say it, a proof in the pudding, a pudding in the proof. Uh, however, Amen. You, we gonna see it in. Amen. You gonna see a lot of leaders left behind in their church trying to preach to imp to emptiness. Amen. Deacons, ministers, apostles, bishops, pastors will be left behind because their heart was not right. But during that rapture, there will be given another chance. And that other chance is to accept Jesus and go through the tribulation or take the mark of the beast and die and go to hell and which you will be taking part, amen, of that second death, which is the lake of fire. The day of the Lord is at hand. We have to stop playing. How you say you love God and you holding on to God and you ain't going to now church. I'm talking about, I'm talking about y'all, amen, that, that, that say that you say you ain't going to no church. You're shacking up, amen. You're sleeping with a man that's not your husband, that's not your wife, amen. You got all kind of evil and all type of thing on the inside. You got some of y'all out here, amen, call yourself in to keep a man by, amen, doing this and doing all kind of thing, amen, to keep somebody, amen. No, you ain't going to be able to keep nobody, amen, it's going to run them away because you got to pray and wait on God. Glory to God. Listen, those that will be left, you will have an opportunity you will have an opportunity to get right. But I guarantee you, you will go through. There is some horrific things that you're going to see and witness. And some things that you're going to have to expect. Glory to God. Our brothers and sisters died a violent death. Vi violent. It's a violent death to be stoned or beheaded or hanged or sawed in two. You got to lay down with chains on and a saw. Amen. That's like what the Texas chainsaw. Amen. Walk around. Amen. With a saw. Amen. Cutting people in half. Some people was tied to a pole and burnt, burnt to death because they would not deny Jesus. Some was thrown into a den of lions like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Basic counted as sheep for the slaughter. Because I'm going to tell you something. The Antichrist is not going to care about you and nobody else. Amen when he rise 
Amen. They're already getting ready. The systems right now is getting ready right now. Not yet that the time is, but they're getting ready and preparing for his coming. Amen. To persecute every person that called themselves a child of God. Will you be able to stand to see your children? Amen. Killed or shot because you're holding on to God because that's what's going to happen. The Bible declares woe to them that give suck in those days, which means woe to them that's done had a baby. Amen. And got to provide milk and food for that baby and watch your baby die because you refuse to take the mom. Then you'll have some friends that you thought you had, amen, because you won't take the mark, will tell on you and where you at for you to be put to death. Listen, it's time. The day of the Lord is at hand, and I'm getting ready to close. It's time. Pastors, we must get together. We, it's a spirit that Satan has infiltrated inside the body of Christ. And you can't tell me it's not. It is. You got certain ones that will fellowship with certain ones and won't fellowship with the other ones. But we all say that we are part of Jesus Christ. We're supposed to be going out as team. It doesn't matter the name of your church. God is not coming for your name of a church or who you part of or who you are affiliated with. He's not coming for that. He's coming for you and your soul. That's it. And we're getting judged individually. Glory to God. Listen. It's time. I want somebody to just stand with me as I stand with God in this hour and minister the truth to the people. We must share this message, this message, and the next message. There's a lot of other pastors out there. I hear them. Well, we all basically on one accord and we're saying the same thing. Amen. It's time for us to put away our foolishness, the criticism. Amen. It's time to set aside our differences. We're at war right now. And Satan does not care about the differences. Satan has risen up and God has allowed him to rise up even more. This is why we must put away our differences. And it's time to come together. Those of you that have, it's time for you to start being a blessing to other leaders that are out there. You know leaders right now. Amen. You, you'll go to see what kind of money you could get up out of them. Amen. But you won't go. Amen. And try to be a blessing to them. We must be a blessing one to another. If, if, if seven churches. Seven. And I ain't talking about just the seven day of Venice. But they're part. We're all part of the kingdom of God. They just worship on a Saturday. Amen. I'll take a Monday. It ain't got to be on a Sunday. Amen. I'm not finna go all what the Jewish calendar say and that, that, that. Amen. He says six days shalt thou. Amen. Work and do all thy labor in the seventh day rest. Amen. Seven, starting out with seven churches, seven leaders, seven believers. Just like the seven churches in the book of Revelation. If seven just get together, join hands, and go out in the street to snatch souls out of the hands of Satan, 
and claim their victory with their salvation. If seven just get together and go and feed out there in the street, Instead of having a competition on what color robe to wear on this day and that day and who is becoming an apostle or bishop, amen, or prophet or prophet, when souls is dying out there and you're having competition on a, on a piece of title, on a piece of, pe piece of paper, amen, that's not going to mean deadly squid, amen, before God. Glory to God, I got kind of tight tongue, I, I was excited. Amen. Take it below. Glory to God. Listen, it's time. Our objective have went to the wrong direction. Our objective have changed. The objective is supposed to go out and save soul, not have a competition. Amen. In the church or who got better members or who got the best drummer, who got the best organ, who got the best choir, who sang the best, who dressed the best, who got the most money. We have became competitive one to another. We don't fellowship. You know why we don't fellowship? Because we have allowed that little spirit to come in to say, oh, that brother ain't right. That sister ain't right. How you know? They preaching Jesus. And you're going to sit up and say they're not right. Well, you are the one that's not right because you're saying that they're not right. You already criticizing and judging, amen, somebody that's preaching the word of God, that's lifting up the name of Jesus. You just like a Pharisee and a Sadducee, baby, because you sit down judging, amen, the same thing that the Pharisees and Sadducees did. They did not want to receive Jesus because he spake the truth. Glory to God. Listen. I'm going to get ready to close right now. But at this moment, right now, glory to God. I want each of you right now to really, really humble before God right now. And there's many of you, this message has touched other messages coming from other leaders. Amen. You have been touched. Glory to God. It's time that we surrender and say, yes, Lord, I'll go where you want me to go. I'll do whatever you want me to do. I will humble myself. And Lord, forgive me for my own ways and actions. There may be someone here that's not saved. God is calling you to salvation. You to a point that you're tired of being tired. Jesus is calling you to the throne. He loves you. He'll never leave you, neither will he ever forsake you, even until the end of time. Glory to God. Just go to God for yourself. And now that you have done that, you are part of the king. Glory to God. I'm going to share this. You know, God had been showing me some people. Um, I saw death over them. God, I begin to God begin to show me a vision, and I saw a vision of these people, and I begin to see death. Amen. And God had me to witness, to share, and they knew. I knew that the spirit of the Lord was all over them. But there was another spirit that was there. And that was Satan. Amen. And they went on the side of Satan. Rather than humbling going to God. And a week, weeks later, they're gone. Let me explain something. Once you go to hell... There is no reincarnation. 
Ain't no uncle coming back, Uncle Bob, Grandma, Godma, Aunt Sally. Nobody is coming back to tell you nothing, to bring you no nibbles, to tell you to bring good luck where you got, amen, uh, mama dress, amen, that you been holding on since she died, amen, you got that for good luck or spoon or object or something that you holding on for good luck. You hold on to that and not hold on to God, you going to hell. Listen, no one is coming back from hell, from the grave. The only time we're coming back, when Jesus come back, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Glory to God. But other than that, Uncle Bob and Aunt Sally Mae and God Mama ain't coming back for nothing, to tell you nothing. If they wasn't right with God, they in hell. Amen. With burning 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 praying for a second chance to be revived back here on earth but god say not so listen i love you i love everybody from my heart i don't care if i'm hated it doesn't matter jesus was hated and i'm just like jesus it just make me shout for joy and glorify god even more and as I say, listen, each of you, I want you to share this page, this message. I want you to share it with someone else. Let them know that it's time. The hand, the day of the Lord is at hand. Glory to God. Listen. I love you very, very much. As I said, I love everyone. Amen. Every person I love. But we must come together. We must defeat Satan. We have to defeat him. Those that are strong, I want you to stand with me in prayer and fasting and let us defeat Satan and his imps by getting out here in the highways and byways and compelling to come in and being an example of Jesus ourselves. Amen. I'm looking for some warriors to come aboard. Amen. Of praying and fasting and going out into the harvest. Listen. My time is winding up and I thank God for each of you in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Look for us again. Amen. If the Lord says the same on Thursday. Amen. And we look forward. Amen. To hearing from you. Hearing what God has done for you and what he is doing for you in your life. Amen. And I'm not just talking about money, but I'm talking about, amen, what he's doing in your heart. Amen. What he's doing in your mind. Amen. What shackles you had on you that, amen, that the spirit of the Lord came in and lifted up those shackles. Amen. Listen, I love you and God bless you. Amen. In the precious, precious name of Jesus. God bless you. And see you again. God bless you. record